Rolling forward here in the right side, Mike Booker out of Ohio. We're driving the Leverage family team down there. They've got the Hope Over America logo on the side of the car. If you've been following Mike Booker or NHRA for a number of years, I'm sure you're familiar with the Hope Over Heroin program. Mike Booker is a pastor. He's a preacher, and he spends a lot of time talking to young people that are kind of in precarious situations trying to help them make the right decision. The Hope Over Heroin program was expanded because heroin's not the only problem you're dealing with in the country. Whether you're talking about cocaine, meth, fentanyl, alcohol, even suicide. They've expanded the program. And it, is a, it is a tremendous outreach. And if you want to go by and talk to Mike about it, he'll be more than happy to fill you in on some of the details about what they're trying to do, working with the young people out there to help get them pointed in the right direction. Yeah, I talked to Mike this morning a little bit about yesterday's run. It looked like it was running all right. He said it, it felt good, honestly. Uh, but the crew thought they saw a cylinder out. They weren't 100% sure, so they clicked it. Went back, looked at the computer, and they were right. So they clicked it off, so they didn't run anything. Scott Graham, take care of business over there on the commercial metal fab machine. They went down to Bristol and really struggled their way through qualifying. Came here yesterday, determined to come out and start with a clean run. Exactly what they did. They currently sit number 10. Spencer's in. Mike Booker's trying to get in. He's got to run better than 468. Three point seven five one, three hundred and twenty-five miles an hour. Spencer Massey picked up a hundo. Mike Booker shut that thing off about 100 feet out, and he's just going to coast down there, 985 the elapsed time, just over 50 miles an hour. So Spencer picked up a hunt and actually picked up a spot. He moved around Tony Schumacher from 10 to number 9. Let's go down to Joe. Here with crew chief Scott Graham. That's two for two going down the racetrack here in Norwalk. Yeah, the track's really good, and obviously we've got some cloud covers. So we actually came up here and we're trying a, a clutch disc we've never run before. So... When we qualified well last night, I thought, let's let's try something. And uh, obviously it worked. We are trying to repeat, and it did. So we'll take it for sure. For those of you who may not know the mechanics of these cars, they run a multiple-disc clutch. Almost everybody in the dragster ranks now has got the six-disc. There are a few teams that still run the five. But they run multiple discs in there because you have to burn away some of the power. There's no transmission in a top fuel car or in a nitro funny car. And if you drive a clutch car on the street, think about, you know, if you're sitting at a stoplight, put it in fourth gear and then try to drive away. That's, in essence, what the top fuel cars are doing out there to get the power to the ground. 